true for the for the short term period because because um, obviously about sixty percent of our export revenues come from come from oil and gas exports and um, about fifteen percent of our e economies is constructed by oil and gas sector so f in in the mid term period three to five years of course we will we will rely on on um, on oil and gas and, and metals but overall of course we we're trying to decrease our reliance on um, on the commodities. The Russian economy and the Kazakh economy have had strong ties in the past. Uh, do you think this dependency will continue in the future? There is, of course, strong correlation between economic performance in Russia and in Kazakhstan. It's uh, one of our biggest trading partners uh, behind the European Union. And uh, individually, it's the biggest trading partner. So um, we, 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 we're um, um, relieved to see economic recovery in Russia because uh, for the last two years we, we, we saw the diminishing GDP, 4% in 2015 and 1.2 or something in 2016, something like that. So uh, any, any positive number is of course good because we're in the Eurasian Economic Union, um, which means we have free trade in goods, services, free turnover of people and, and capital. So um, of course we want, we want um, we want them to succeed. Uh, they're our economic and, and strategic partners, so uh, health of Russian economy is also an asset for Kazakh economy. Uh, in terms of our future reliance, um, yes, I'm, I mean, we're destined to be in between, uh, in between Central Asian countries such as Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, and two superpowers like China and Russia. And obviously you have to be able and be true to trade with them invest, attract investment, invest yourself, uh, attract people, attract talent, interact in all the other um, possible ways with, with your two super, uh, super, uh, super powers. And uh, I think we have been uh, pretty successful in, do, in doing so. What do you think are some of the vulnerabilities in front of the Kazakh economy moving forward? Of course, we're still, really, we're still reliant on oil, oil prices. So the biggest vulnerability is, um, is a sudden drop in, in oil prices. Um, of course, the the other vulnerability is is, um, is if something goes wrong with not only with with Russian economy but with China, Chinese economy. If, for example, there is a trade war between um, I don't know, for example, reindustrialized in America and uh, and China, then obviously we will see um, uh, the effect of it on, on Kazakhstan. Whether it will be a dumping of goods from China, if the goods are, are, are losing their market share in America or elsewhere. Of course, they will, not, they, will, they will be trying to sell, it, sell them here, Russia, Kazakhstan, Central Asia. And so we will have a lot of pressure on our domestic industries.